interrupted by some crashing and I noticed a doe was very on edge right underneath me. things were going to pick up because I heard a lot running in my direction but that doe was the only thing that came out so I think I'm going to hop down now and go help him track down this buck. Alright, I just got back to the bottom of my dad. What happened? Well, all the way to the end of the trail down there, the doe and or two does and a buck came out and the buck started working in a scrape line all the way down the trail and uh, it worked you know, three or four different scrapes on the way here and uh, it got within about 20 yards and I shot and I think it was a good shot <clears throat> I found my bolt and it went through but it uh, doesn't really look like there was a lot of blood on the bolt itself, but up about 60 yards from, well, 40 yards from where I shot it, started finding a bullet trail, so we're going to go take a look for it now. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I just want to take a quick second to thank our video and series sponsors, New View Hunting Clothes. All the camo that you see in these episodes are from New View Hunting. I've been using them for the last couple years, and they have not disappointed me so far. They're constantly working to make new camo options and new styles of clothing and just trying to improve for the hunter's needs. They're a great low-cost option. And I've made a in-depth review of some of the options that they have made in the past. So go check that out down in the description below. They're constantly working to make new things for hunters. So they're a great brand. Make sure you go check them out. And thank you very much, New View, for working with me and cooperating with me for these videos. 
It's the same day that my dad harvested his buck. I am out for an evening sit up in a different tree stand. The wind is right in my face, so it should be in the perfect direction. And the only downside is I kicked up a lot of deer on the walk-in, so hopefully they end up making their way back through. Shortly into my sit, I noticed some movement off in the distance. Not much time passed and I had a doe make its way right underneath me. And after she made her way through, there was not much more movement. Well, that was another surprisingly slow sit. I really thought this weekend was going to be a lot more active. thought they would probably be getting right into rut right about now, but cameras have kind of gone dead and so is the action out here, but tomorrow will be my last sit of the weekend. It'll probably be my last sit with a bow for the season because I believe Tuesday is the opener for firearm season. So I'll be out next weekend trying to get one with my firearm. Still hoping that I can get one with my bow before then though. So I will see you in the morning. It's the following morning. We're up in the tree stand and ready to quite some time passed in my scent and I finally had some movement across the field heading my direction. After these does passed, I noticed a small buck running across the field. Shortly after this, I had another group of does that seemed to be pushed in my direction. Still not able to get it done. I will say it was a lot more eventful than last night and yesterday morning. Did see quite a bit more deer, but only saw that one small buck, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure where the bigger bucks are at. They're not even showing up on trail camera right now. I think I only got four pictures last night, which is not normal. I usually have about 50 to 100 pictures. So I'm not sure where all the deer are at right now. 
hopefully they'll be moving a little bit more next weekend and the next time you'll see me it will be firearm season so I'll be out with a firearm instead of my bow congratulations to my dad again for taking down that nice eight point thank you for new view for sponsoring this video and thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time